Hello, lovely humans. It's been a very long time. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to do this without rambling too much. But if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know that I am mildly incapable of doing such a thing. So, uh, I wrote some notes and hopefully that those notes remain upright and useful for now. Over a year ago, I had posted a video saying that I was coming back uh, and that I was medicated for anxiety, yes, um, but then shortly after that other major life changes happened and reading took a back seat to exhaustion and feeling shitty and now I, I'm just a sleep deprived, exhausted human. Here's my life change. This is Ezra, and he's gonna hang out while I attempt to do this video. Maybe he'll make noise, maybe he won't. Who knows? But, yes. So, he is six months old. So for a year and a half, essentially, I've been exhausted. And had no time to read or write. But I would like to change that. I am planning to change that. Anyway. The question of what have I been reading would be virtually nothing. I've got this, nope, I moved it, <laughs> bookshelf, kind of, of books that I have not read yet that is still the same. I should probably get rid of some of them. Am I ever going to read them? You rolled onto your stomach, you can roll off of it. While I was pregnant, I read a lot of romance books because they were easy and mindless. And since I gave birth, um, I have read some baby books. What have I been writing? Uh, also, virtually nothing. I don't have time. But I'm going to try to make time more. Ezra finally understands napping. Which gives me more than 20 minutes at a time to sit down and write. If you're a writer, you know that... Yes that 20 minutes is not enough to actually get into doing anything at all. What are my hopes for this channel? I don't know. I would like to post one video a week. I would like to read like one book a month. I would like to be doing writing vlogs so that I am forcing myself to write things. And he agrees. I have some ideas for some writing series, I think, and I don't know, I want to read books that other people tell me to read and see what what I have to say about them. Does that make sense? I don't know. The Keep It Classic book club, which Jasmine, Julia, and Vanessa, and me, host, we're giving it another go in Jan January, oh my goodness, no, in... July with the Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. We posted a poll over on the Twitter and Instagrams for this and that seems to be uh, the winner so guaranteed I will read that in July and I would like some of you to join me because that would be fun and also I need someone to translate what the heck I'm about to be reading. That is pretty much everything. I hope I kept on track I didn't want to post a super long video, but I did want to post something to say, I miss doing this. I miss kind of the accountability that it gave me for reading things and for writing things. And I am hoping to be able to make some time to do all of that uh, while trying not to be miserable about how freaking hot it is outside. It's not even that hot today, it's like 25 <coughs> degrees. I should go don't want this to be long, I don't want this to be hard to edit, but I do need to start somewhere. Tell me down below how your 
quarantine time has gone. I've basically been home yeah. since December, yes. So I really miss doing things. But Tell me how your life Bye. has been. <laughs> what you've been up to. I am going to leave off and hopefully I will post something next week also. I uh, am not going to make any promises. If you enjoyed this, you could like it or subscribe to see more and maybe more in the future. We could be friends, we could chat. I try to sort of, kind of, be on Twitter more. Eh. I suck at it all, really. I've always been very inconsistent. I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. Other than that, I hope that you have an awesome morning, afternoon, or evening. Whichever it is. Wherever you are. See ya.